Welcome back to this week's DIY video where we're making a side table for our bedroom lounge area. Right now, host just our clothes. Hopefully we'll be changing that real soon, setting the vibe with this golden hour lamp. Link will be down below. Really cool because I'm making this side table, winging it, it's a wing it DIY video, but the pieces of wood that I'm going to be using, I'm finding them all around our house because we have so many pieces of scrap wood around our house with all the builds that we have going on right now. So let's go grab all those put them on our work table, and get started. All right, let's do this. Okay, so I'm thinking, I don't want it too big. So I'm just gonna do the same amount on this side as that side. And that's big enough to... That's big enough to hold a drink, a book, candle. <laughs> like I said, we are winging it. Trust me on this. I have found a better way of doing this. On the cement. So I've measured from here to there, connected those pieces, and that's 12 inches. Um, so yeah, like I said, I am winging this. Once I figure out the measurements, I will put them down below. If you need a cut list, maybe I should make a cut list. I don't know, if you want a cut list, comment below. I don't know if you're gonna wanna make this or not. <laughs> I'm going to go with. Time to drill. I've started to do it one by one because what ended up happening is it was shifting around too much. So I want to make sure that I want to make sure that it's all aligned and going straight and not bowing. Applying the pressure. Okay, not screwing them in all the way. And use, I've been moving the spacer every time. Go like this, hold it down. Before the stain. This is the most unique tabletop side table you'll find out there. Custom made. It's a new day. My husband's working on the workbench, so I'm just over here on the other side of the garage. But um, I have been thinking, because this is the way my mind runs, functionality. How cute would this be underneath a laptop just working away on the lounger, chaise, whatever you want to call it. But that means I want to make this removable from the bottom part of the side table. My brain got me thinking, like I'm just trying to use scrap wood. So these are like the leftover of those two big pieces that I used to make this. So now I'm just gonna try and see how I can make this removable with these two pieces.
I got the Early American. This was $10 at Home Depot. I'm not gonna lie, I just went out and bought this. I thought I had some in my basement, but I do not. Um, not enough to cover this. Even though it's a small area, I just don't have any left. So this one's Early American. I don't know if you can see that there. There you go. So let's jump right into it. I know what some of y'all are thinking. You didn't think I would clean this before I put it in my bedroom. <laughs> Don't lie, comment down below. Did you think I was gonna clean it or not? Okay, she is stained and cleaned. Now we get to bring her upstairs. Let's go. <laughs> 